Odds are that you use Google Chrome or a Chromium based browser. So you ought to know there's a change coming in September that's subtle, but very important. If you're watching this video on Chrome with a desktop or laptop, take a look at the upper left corner of your screen and you'll see a little padlock icon next to the URL. This indicates that the site you're on is using HTTPS, but Google has decided to retire the lock. But what the heck is HTTPS and why do we care about the lock icon at all? HTTPS stands for Hypertext Transport Protocol Secure, and it's a variation of standard HTTP, which is the communications protocol that web pages use. Among other things, HTTP allows for basic but crucial functionality such as data retrieval, authentication, and the ability to click on links, which I've enjoyed. What makes HTTPS more secure is that it encrypts the links to whichever website you're using. What this does is keep any information that you send to the website or that the site sends to you from being read or seen by anyone intercepting it. This is especially important if you're using public Wi-Fi as these networks are often unsecured, meaning any unencrypted traffic can be read by an attacker connected to the same network. All they need is a freely available program called a packet sniffer. And even if you're not doing anything sensitive, HTTPS prevents the ability of third parties to modify your connection. For example, AT&T was caught several years ago injecting ads into users' browser sessions while they were connected to free AT&T hotspots at a major airport. I mean, I got time at an airport, but not that much time. Additionally, HTTPS enables security certificates. What these do is let you know that the website you're on matches the URL in the address bar and that you're not on a potentially malicious site that's just spoofing the one you actually want to be on. Because of the obvious benefits of HTTPS, over 80% of websites now use it, but that's still a significant part of the web that doesn't. I mean, one in five? So why would Google be getting rid of an easy way to reassure you that the site you're looking at is using it? We'll tell you after we thank GoToResolve for sponsoring this video. Are you looking for simple, easy to use, yet effective IT software? GoToResolve might be the answer for you. Safeguard your business with industry-leading protocols like zero trust access access control, and multi-factor authentication. Their remote monitoring and management capabilities allow agents to protect and secure IT assets. You can perform important tasks such as patch management, antivirus management, IT automation, and general remote support, all without disrupting end users. Check out GoToResolve at the link below and start securing your IT assets. Although HTTPS is useful, it certainly isn't foolproof. I mean, how many cases have you heard of, of identity theft or other personal information being stolen even though most websites use it? The thing is, any website can make use of HTTPS, including phishing sites or sites that will try to install malware on your PC. Remember that it only really prevents the interception of data. It has no way of knowing if the site you're using has ill intent. But unfortunately, it appears that that little padlock icon has lulled many a user into a false sense of security. According to Google, only 11% of users understand what the lock icon means. And it's a safe bet that many of that other 89% think that the lock means that a site is trustworthy, full stop. Google discovered this through research studies in which a large number of users indicated that the lock icon meant that a hypothetical shopping site would be safe to use. But what if it wasn't safe to use? This confusion is precisely why Google says the lock icon needs to go. Instead, it's actually gonna be replaced by something new, something they call a tune icon. Circles and lines that represent setting sliders. Predictably, you'll be able to click on it and it'll still give you information about the site's security certificate as well as privacy and cookie settings specifically for that site. Google believes that this will both encourage users to click and find out more about the site they're on as well as stop them from automatically thinking the site is above board, lest you become the person that falls for the digital equivalent of one of those car warranty phone calls. It happens to the best of us. So thanks for watching guys, if you like this video, Hit like, hit subscribe, and hit us up in the comment section with your ideas for topics that we should cover in the future.